When you find yourself in Texas, there's a feeling that hits you. It's like a distant memory, an idea that you faintly remember, but whose meaning you have long since forgotten. There's just something about the Texas air you can't put your finger on. Like you're lucky to get to breathe it. You realize the ground on which you stand is the same bedrock where so many greats have stood before. But that's Texas. Legends never die. They marinate and mature in the clouds above the East Texas fields growing with every passing mention. And then the fall, rain back down to earth, only to have increased in significance. Respect for tradition? Respect isn't a powerful enough word. Reverence, now there's a start. It isn't as much spirit as it is spiritual. Welcome to the Lone Star State, where Friday night lights aren't a pastime, but a birthright, and where the worth of a man isn't measured by dollar signs, but by the calluses on his hands. And at the junction of all of this is Aggieland. You talk about the great scenes in college football. One that belongs right near the top is right here at Aggieland. This is the best student section right here in college football. Oh. About 100,000 people expected to be on hand tonight here at Kyle Field. This is one of the loudest venues in college football. Stafford now is beginning to complain that he can't hear the snap count. The fans are loving it. The coaches are loving it. The whole stadium is shaking. Oh, what a hit! Taylor Mack, a truck, loses the football. It was Vaughn Miller, the All-American. That is Miles Garrett. Mike Evans, touchdown a and Midfield, Christian Kirk, one guy to beat, and he's not going to get it. Johnny Football with a night to remember. Johnny Manziel. Uh, Texas a and choosing that school was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. This Heisman Trophy is for you. Giggle. Now the stands will start to sway. So then, what is Aggieland? Geographically, it is made up of the twin cities of Bryan and College Station, whose property line meanders back and forth between the creeks and hills of the Brazos Valley. But metaphorically, Aggieland is limitless, abstract. It extends to and blankets the farthest corners of the planet, connecting those with a passion for the University of Texas A&M. Having come a long way from a Southern Pacific Railroad stop, the college town has exploded in size, popularity, and local culture. When it comes to cuisine, Aggieland has it all. Fresh from the farm or straight out of the Gulf, land and sea come together to form a foodie stream. It's Texas. Barbecue is its own language. You're never too far away from a smoked brisket, pork chop, or a rack of freshly charred ribs. In Aggieland, Fine dining can find its match no matter the appetite. With the seventh pick, with the second pick, the first pick, the twenty-second pick, the sixth pick, the Atlanta Falcons, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Brown, Dallas Cowboys, select. wide receiver, Texas A&M, tackle, Texas A&M, quarterback, Texas A&M, linebacker, defensive end, Texas A&M. Well, that's back-to-back -back A&M picks. Look out! Slammed into the ground. Bennett with the sack. That was an unbelievable shot. Down. Oh! Oh! This boy been playing good all year, man. That's Donovan Wilson, man. Rodgers throws, pass, caught, touchdown. It's the rookie Sternberger. The Cleveland Browns select Miles Garrett, defensive end, Texas A&M. Number 95, Miles Garrett, a freak athlete, 6'5", 275 pounds. And now coming in is Miles Garrett, his seventh sack of the season. Jake Matthews, tackle, Texas A&M. This kid is special. He's a technician. And it's a bootleg run for Ryan Tannehill. Tannehill will take it all the way. Airborne for the touchdown. Intercepted on this play by Dat Wynn. His third of the year. Mike Evans. Evans! 
foot race. Michael Evans, one man, cannot stop him. Touchdown. Holy cow, what a catch. Oh, <laughs> that hurt all the way up here. He's what today's NFL wide receiver is all about. Martellus Bennett at the 25, broke a tackle, knocked the helmet off a guy at the 15. That is getting run over. Where in the heck did that truck come from? It's Christian Kirk. He's turning on the Jets. Kirk's going to score. Dante Hall's going to do it again. The human joystick. The Denver Broncos select Von Miller. Linebacker, Texas A&M. Vaughn Miller just so fast that they don't have the answer. It was Vaughn Miller with the strip sack. And the MVP of Super Bowl 50 is Vaughn Miller. I'm so proud of my guys. It's been every last one of the guys in the locker room that has got me to this moment right here. While the Aggies provide the centerpiece of entertainment in this community, the Northgate District is right across the street. Just up the road is the new Century Square. While Northgate brings the rustic throwback look to a good time, Century Square stands out with a modernized, state-of-the-art feel to its shops, restaurants, hotels, and nightlife. In neighboring Bryan, a revitalized downtown provides a charming, family-friendly atmosphere. Rich with history, culture, and commerce, from antique shops and restaurants to art galleries and boutiques. Bryan is a Texas cultural district where history meets community. If you care to venture out, you're in luck. College Station rests in the middle of it all, sitting in the center of three of the nation's largest metropolises. The Triangle, as it is commonly referred to, is a cross-section of culture and hospitality and brings the bustling cities of Dallas Houston, and San Antonio with all that they have to offer within arm's reach. Enjoy the modern amenities of a big city combined with warm small town charm, making this one of the friendliest places in the country. Texas A&M has a global reputation as one of the best universities in the world. With 133 undergraduate degrees, a faculty bursting with Nobel laureates, and top-ranked educational value both in-state and in the nation, A&M's worth fits right in with its values. One of the biggest advantages of being at Texas A&M comes after commencement, with access to the far-reaching and ever-growing Aggie network. With over half a million former students, Texas A&M boasts more Fortune 500 CEOs than any other school in the nation and ranks third for alumni that will jumpstart your career. The value of the Aggie ring is unmatched in the job market. He is the right coach at the right time. Please join me in welcoming Jimbo Fisher to the Aggie family. The mission for us here is very clear. Develop these young men to be the best they can be in every facet of their life. Because when they're champions off, they're going to be champions on. I think all the ingredients are here. Texas A&M's pockets are extremely deep. If you don't believe me, look at the facilities in the brand new stadium. They just basically built from scratch. The new Kyle Field. Alan Bestwick and Dan Hawkins, a stadium that was knocked down mostly and rebuilt to the tune of $485 million since the end of last season. It's amazing. The largest stadium right now in the SEC is packed. They had a ton of students here last night for Yale practice at midnight. Pretty impressive sight. And it's going to be intercepted into the red zone for Texas A&M. Spiller breaks a tackle, in for the touchdown. Kept his balance, gets down the sideline. No one's going to catch him. They are champions of the Capital One Orange Bowl. You look at the commitment that Texas A&M has made to football and the facilities that they have. I mean, they have a Crazy. quarter billion dollars in infrastructure in the locker yep. room alone, it feels like. They just redid Kyle Field. They've dumped money, resources. They got two indoor fields, a brand new football complex, a performance complex, nutrition center. It's an absolute Taj Mahal for college football. They even got a barber shop in that thing. You want to get your <laughs> hair cut. <laughs> You know, our program will be built on four principles in which I talk about all the time. Toughness, effort, discipline, and pride. There's got to be a pride of excellence in what you do, and that's the kind of people we want to bring to Texas A&M.
Some may boast of prowess bold, of the school they think so grand. But there's a spirit that can never be told. It's the spirit of Aggieland. We honor and respect what has made us who we are. It's why we're so unique. But there's so much more to Aggies than what you're told. Aggies are behind the road that brought you here. Aggies are behind the food you put on the table. Aggies are even behind the stories we tell our children at night. Yes, some of us ride horses, but others travel on rockets. Lift off. Howdy, this is Mike Fossum. Am I talking to Aggieland? You're there at a and for the college degree, but there's more to it than that. The friendships, the camaraderie, the spirit, and everything else that comes with being there. Some of us drive tractors, but others navigate the open ocean. We're barbecue and ballet, ranchers and researchers. Our spirit canvasses every corner of the globe, and our guest list knows no boundaries. So, howdy, Aggies. All right. In these stories, we see the courage and service that defined America at its best. And that same spirit has long defined Texas A&M. And in wearing of your timeless rings, you affirm a powerful truth. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie. We're rodeo with a Renaissance twist. Agriculturalists and architects. Veterans and veterinarians. We're big city talent without the traffic. And although we like our thinking space, we don't have any issues packing it in close. And are as pretty on the inside as we are out. Aggie Land is a place where fish learn to swim, where the bear roamed, and where elephants truly never forget. It's where locked in spirit every voice is heard. We aren't the ones running away from problems. We are the ones chasing them to make the world a better place for each and every person. We are selfless in our service. We are proud to be exactly what we are. We are the Aggies. The Aggies are we. True to each other as Aggies can be. We are Aggieland.